In less than a month, millions of Americans are going to see a rather rare event, a total solar eclipse. Yeah, the eclipse is really special. This is uh, one that we haven't had one since 2017. We're not going to have another one for about 20 years in the United States. And of course, an eclipse is when the moon passes in front of the sun and casts a shadow on the Earth. That means in Jacksonville, 64% of the sun is going to be covered, creating a crescent sun, kind of like the crescent moon of sorts. But if you want to see the total eclipse, you're going to have to do some traveling. Anywhere on the path, I think, would be wonderful. The eclipse is stretching from Texas to Maine, and NASA is going to be at about 12 locations along that path. Uh, you can come join us anywhere. You can see where we're going to be at go.nasa.gov. Regardless of where you are along the path, you still need to be careful when looking at the sun. So we encourage everyone to have uh, eclipse viewing glasses or solar viewing glasses. Um, these, are, these are NASA's awesome glasses. Um, this will allow you to look at the partial eclipse. You can never take your glasses off though, because the sun, even in a partial eclipse, is too bright for our eyes. It could be very damaging. Uh, if you don't have your glasses handy, is an indirect viewing method. You can make a pinhole camera, or you can use a colander or your fingers, just cross them like this, <clears throat> to project the eclipse on the ground in front of you. And of course, if you get any photos of the eclipse or anything else weather related here across the First Coast, please share with us at our First Coast News Weather Watchers Facebook page. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.